So an autopsy planned for today on the body believed to be that of a California teen missing after a large party earlier this month. Investigators said 16-year-old Kylie Rodney had last been seen near the Prosser family campground at a party attended by more than 100 teens and young adults. Her phone last pinged just after midnight, August 6th, near the Prosser Creek Reservoir, where a volunteer dive team found a body inside of a vehicle in the water this past weekend. And investigators said Monday that they do believe that body is the body of Kylie. Fox's William Lajeunesse is live for us here to bring us the latest. Thank you so much, William. Hey, Josh. Indeed, you know, police did find the car. The car is the one that belongs to the uh, Kylie Rodney's family. Uh, they have yet to confirm that the body found inside is indeed her. However, the family issued this statement last night, quoting, While we accept this sadness cast under death's shadow, the rising sun shines the light upon us, reminding us not to mourn our loss, but to celebrate Kylie's spirit. Also, the sheriff's office indicated that it is likely her, but they are waiting for that confirmation today. Also, they have not suggested foul play, but an autopsy today should provide a cause of death. Toxicology and the blood for drugs and alcohol will take several weeks. So the focus now is on several things. One of them, of course, did was it simply an accident? Did she drive her car off the road into the lake? Was she conscious at the time or impaired or something else? Also, her boyfriend posted on Facebook yesterday saying, Kylie wants us to be happy, to be safe. She wants us to have a good life. That's all she ever wanted for us to live the way that Kylie would want us to. Uh, Josh. Yeah, thank you so much. Of course, uh, a lot of questions, as you did mention there, and a big one is this dive team was able to find her. They went out there this weekend, found her pretty quickly, while investigators searched that area and hadn't found her. Have they responded to say, I guess, why that is? Yeah, so volunteers and police put in about 20,000 man hours over two weeks, a little over more than two weeks. And they did search this lake because, of course, it's adjacent to the campground uh, where the party was held. Uh, dive teams went in from several different agencies and they did not find her. Um, however, uh, after 35 minutes, this volunteer group, Adventures with Purpose, they had two side sonars uh, and some pretty sophisticated equipment and they found the car in about 35 minutes, about 50 feet uh, off the shoreline in about 14 feet of water. So the question obviously is gonna be, um, why did Sheriff's divers fail to find it earlier? Well, I am a diver and visibility changes one day to the next. Um, also the um, uh, water level, this is a, a reservoir, has fallen about three feet since uh, the initial dive teams went in. Uh, nevertheless, um, obviously there's going to be questions about um, why didn't they find her sooner. Um, deputies have said, you know, this equipment is very high end that they used. It's very expensive. And these guys, Adventures with Purpose, have a lot of experience and expertise in, in doing this. I think they've been involved in, in uh, something like 20 other uh, missing person cases, and they found 19 of the victims. So this is what they do. Uh, nevertheless, um, there'll be questions about uh, why they didn't find her earlier. Josh? Of course, and hopefully that autopsy today, I'm sure investigators are hoping, will give them some answers about exactly what happened here, because at this point it just seems like a mystery. Well, you'll have the accident investigation, right? They'll look at the vehicle to, and they'll look at, at and, and not that they already haven't, um, where did she go off the road? Um, how did the vehicle get from uh, the road or the uh, adjacent to the lake into uh, 40 or 50 feet off the shoreline, if you will. Did it float, something else? Uh, so the accident investigation, number one, and then the cause of death uh, would be second. And, and indeed, indeed, where, where drugs or alcohol involved will take several weeks for the blood toxicology to come back. Josh. All right, William, thank you so much for that. We do appreciate it. I'm sure we'll be back in touch over the next few days to get an update and some more information. Again, thank you so much for being here. You bet. Thank you.